UFC 월드컵 챔피언 GSP가 TUF 선수들의 훈련장에 술에 취한 자신의 무에타이 코치를 데려왔습니다. 의심적인 눈빛을 보내는 선수들에게 GSP는 이렇게 경고합니다. I don't know how to call that in English. He's a free thinker, you know. But the way he does is like amazing in it. He's gonna, he's gonna knock you out cold. He's a, he's a character, okay? So I want you to be, be uh, please be, be careful. Uh, Jean Charles is very good guy. You're a very good person with a good heart, but you cannot have the same lifestyle that Jean Charles has because us as a martial artist, we need to not smoke, we need to not drink. And Jean Charles, he, he lived in Thailand for a very long time. So in Thailand, it's different mentality. They smoke, they drink, and they they fight every day. You know, so. 충격이었습니다. MMA라고는 전혀 해본 적 없이 수면 부족, 흡연. 출독에 빠져 사는 이 무에타이 코치가 젊고 강한 차세대 UFC 유망주 12명을 혼자 개박살을 낸 거죠. 그의 이름은 장샤르 스카보스키. 90년대부터 2000년대 중반까지 활약한 전설의 백인 무에타이 챔피언. 운동 선수에게 독약과 같은 흡연과 술을 평소 미친 듯 즐기면서도 어떻게 무에타이의 전설이 되었는지 그리고 또 다른 무에타이의 전설 뿌아카와 어떻게 대결을 펼치게 되었는지 그 여정을 살짝 엿보기로 하죠. 그는 16살 때 빌려 입은 무에타이 트렁크를 체육관에 반납하러 갔다가 무에타이의 매력에 빠지게 됩니다. 그리고 약간 20살에 유럽 챔피언에 오르지만 타이틀 방하전에서 팔이 부러지는 중상을 입습니다. 선수 생명이 끝날 뻔했지만 불굴의 의지로 재익에 성공. 얼마 후 태국으로 이주하여 센차이, 러드실라, 카오클라이 같은 무에타이 전설들과 같이 훈련을 시작합니다. 그리고 드디어 1999년 12월 5일 국왕의 날에 열린 태국 라자단 대회에서 태국 선수를 상대로 자신의 실력을 입증하게 됩니다. 당시만 해도 태국 선수와 유럽 선수의 기량 차이는 지금보다 더 벌어진 시절이었기 때문에 2만 5천 명의 관중은 모두 스카보스키의 패배를 예상했죠. 그러나 경기 시작 몇초 만에 쇠망치 펀치로 첫 다운을 챙기고 무자비한 공격을 이어갑니다. 지켜보던 태국 홈팬들은 한순간 침묵을 이어갔고 스카보스키는 사각의 링 위에서 한 마리 성난 백사자가 되어 마음껏 야수 본능을 뿜어대기 시작했습니다. 그의 강력한 압박에 기대를 모았던 태국 선수가 오히려 뒷걸음치는 광경이 벌어지면서 충격에 빠진 태국 홈팬들 그리고 마지막 5라운드 코너에서 기회를 잡은 스카보스키는 강력한 레프트 펀치를 시작으로 후속타를 상대의 몸에 꽂아 넣으며 압도적인 TKO 승리를 차지하죠. 2000년에는 무에타의 황금 시대에 세 체급을 석권한 로버트 캐노라신과 두 차례나 대결을 펼치며 1대1 동률을 기록하고 태국에서 백인 낙무아의 전성기를 이룹니다. 최정상의 자리에 이제 마지막 한 걸음만을 남겨놓은 스카보스키. 그러나 그의 앞을 가로막은 거대한 산이 있었는데요. 2004년 K1 맥스의 해성같이 등장하여 일본 킥복싱의 영웅 마사토를 박살내고 태국인으로서 최초의 K1 맥스 챔피언이 된 뿌아카오. 이제 최고의 흥행 수표로 성장한 두 전설이 2005년 홍콩에서 맞붙게 됩니다. Looking on, very, very straight face and stony faced. Yeah, really haven't seen this sort of taunting before from the. Uh, this has been schooled in Thailand. Both of them have done elaborate Y crews. Here, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the second main event of the evening. They touch gloves and are underway. Muay Thai used to open the opponent up. Oh, oh now he started. Now he started by by Borkai. He's kept him at distance. Going for a high kick, high block there. Get like most Western boxers do. They oh. tend to stand square on square. Show the leg catch there and grab. Oh, Sabovsky put in a kick. Oh, Sabovsky put in a kick, and there's a high kick flashed in from Borokai there. Predicted loop. Uh, Borokai's got here. See if he can bring some more of this to bear later on in this fight. Putting around in this super lightweight world championship title here in Hong Kong. Borokai responded with another one. There's another one. Punch, punch and a kick, and that's the end of the first round. Uh, Skrbovsky there, Tao still in the ring, and we're underway here. They're feeling each other out again. Borkai keeping his vard very high. Skrbovsky doesn't seem to have learned from the first period. Oh, he's opened him up. It's really keeping him at his distance. Goes again for a kick, and a deep kick there again from Skrbovsky. Doesn't really shake. Both keep looking the other fighter square in the eye, and nobody gets something for nothing in Muay Thai. So if Skrbovsky oh, throws something, exchange kicks again. Skrbovsky trying to raise the tempo, and oh, a sweep leg goes down. He just drops to the canvas. Points going so far in this one, as you've seen. Oh, there's, there's the leg kick. In this one, as you've seen. Oh, there's, there's the leg kick again from uh, Borkai. Comes in for a clinch there from uh, hand. Very, very low. But got it up there for the block. Let's see how he responds. Yep, going up with his right foot. Borkai pushed in a small deep kick. And a knee to the head there. Oh, they've accelerated this one. It's a flying knee from Borkai there. Just narrowly avoided. Well blocked. And you'll notice towards the end of this round, you'll notice that 
Ah, uh, there we go, the end of the round. You'll notice towards the end of this round, that's going to be what decides the match is who can, who can find that opening and exploit it. Okay, here we go with the start of round three. A bit of light toweling by the ref and the open exchanges again. Much more offensive from Skowalski here at the start of round three. A left and a right combo there. Bit of a, a push round. Borkai just keeps him around with a, a leg kick to the leg and they've, they've really opened this tempo up. You're going to see Skowalski starting to throw more elbows in there. He's led... Oh, and he's got, he's got off his leg and he's punched him in the midriff there. The referee's jumped all over that one. He doesn't like to see that. Doesn't like to see that at all. He's exchanging teeth kicks, keeping each other at a distance. Zabowski's trying to come in with some punches and follow it up with the elbow. But his guard's slightly low on that right side. I still feel he's a bit exposed. Really, really putting these teeth kicks in, trying to keep them away. Zabowski started, punched the midriff. Oh, punched the right head. Right, landed a fantastic right-hander there from Borko. Really shocked Zabowski. Teeth kicks now. You can see he's really coming teeth kicks now. You can see he's really going forward. There's a flying right arm there from yeah, Skrabowski. Oh, big reverse elbow there from Skrabowski. And another one as he's trying to put the big connect in this third round here. They're really getting close in for some really, really tight work at yeah, the end of the third round. And they're underway at the beginning of the fourth. Let's see if the tempo starts by an elbow over the top there from Sabowski. Didn't land that one. Goes for an uppercut. Didn't connect that one either. There's another right arm. Two for three right arms coming in. Another of these landing. Punch to the midriff section. A kick to the midriff section. He's really asking some questions here now, Sabowski. Well, you notice the lightning speed kicks that, that Buolka is throwing. You'll notice he's hiked his shorts way up. And that's a good indicator that he's going to try and take off Skorbowski's head. Absolutely. Or take his ribs clean out. We saw him doing some stretching on the high kick region in the, with the seconds in his corner, actually. His way in. It's a little bit different than, than the keeping each other at distance. You're absolutely right. Borg. Skorbowski's gone very much to... Oh, it's good. The left elbow there. Very much to punching and jabbing to keep him at a distance. Yeah, he for long. He'll throw a kick and then he'll follow it up with a, a two oh, or three there's combo. A, uh, Two oh, or three there's power. a big left big kick there, shot big the shot. Head. Exactly as you predicted, that left to the middle of the fourth round. A lot of punches being thrown by Skowalski, not really doing much. Uh, he's obviously going to be using the tactics where the knees... I mean, it looks as if it might be cut there, Skowalski, there, but now he's going to the last 30 seconds. Set him up perfectly there, put him on the ropes and then tried to take his chin off with that kick. With a flying knee, a bit of a spin move, and Skowalski gets him off him, up, touching gloves. A lot of respect shown by these two fighters. That's the end of the fourth. What has Sabosky got to do to okay, win this fight, Luke? Uh, to win this, I think he'd, we'd have to be looking at a K. The upper leg kick again. Sabosky trying to keep him at distance with the punches. Flaming man of confidence. You can see he doesn't back off. He's looking Skorbowski square in the eye the whole way through. Oh, a little uppercut there from Skorbowski. And Skorbowski square in the eye the whole way through. There from Skorbowski. Oh, big, big right, right hand. Big right hand there. He's dropping his hands there. He's, look, he's starting to look like he's gassing a bit. He is tired. Yeah. He hasn't got the resilience and he hasn't got the, the, the gusto that we're seeing. Uh, Bokai that much. The switch oh. that Bokai that much. The switch. So, oh, oh, that's a big right big hander. Shots. Big right hander, and he's giving him his like, gum shield has come out. I think caught him clean with the one-two right there. Skorbowski's keen to get back into it. The young 24-year-old Thai international, uh, and there it is. A, that switch step is very, very quick feet. Really, this seeing the technique that's really damaged. The, oh, great oh, movement! Those in a row, missing him by inches. They really could have the fifth. Sabowski back on his toes. Really, the crowd really starting to raise, but he's still showing more power, still showing more aggression. Let's see Sabowski. Oh, Sabowski's down. He caught his leg and put him. Let's see if there's any threat punches thrown, and that's it. 두 고수의 대결은 얼음장처럼 차갑고 냉철했습니다. 확실한 찬스가 보이지 않으면 살수를 전혀 드러내지 않다가도 작은 틈이라도 보이면 일격필살의 살수가 튀어나왔죠. 그리고 스카보스키는 마지막 5라운드 기어를 올리며 전진압박합니다. 그러나 점수 쌓기에 성공한 뿌아까오는 무리한 반격을 하지 않고 영리하게 판정으로 끌고 갔죠. 만장일치 판정승을 거머쥔 뿌아까오. 반면 너무나 압도적인 상대를 만난 탓일까요? 평소와 다르게 다소 경직된 모습을 보이며 자신의 모든 것을 보여주지 못한 스카보스키는 결국 뿌아까오라는 거대한 산 앞에서 주저앉게 됩니다. 그러나 그는 세계 챔피언을 비롯 태국 라자담에서 두 번이나 1위를 기록하며 101전 75승 51KO라는 당시 백인 무에타이 파이터로서 보기 드문 기록을 남기며 2006년 영광스럽게 은퇴했습니다. 오늘은 여기까지 하죠. 시청 감사합니다.